Hi, in this video we will be going through how to authorize an ArcGIS for Desktop single use license using a provisioning file. There will be three major steps which I will be showing you. One of those is how to check that we have a license already authorized or not authorized, how do we use the provisioning file to authorize the license, and finally how can we check to make sure that that provisioning file has correctly authorized the license to the machine. So the product that we'll be using at the moment is ArcGIS for Desktop and specifically the component as part of its installation, ArcGIS Administrator. If I go to my menu and I type in ArcGIS Administrator and run it, I'll be prompted that I need administrator access to run this program. It's very important that you do have this administrator access because you're changing vital components to your machine. If you do not have administrator access, you will need to contact your IT department to request this. I select yes, and we get the main window for ArcGIS Administrator. Here we have some various folders on the left hand side that when we select will change the window on the right hand side. So if I select desktop, I can see which software product has been selected. In this case it's advanced Arc Info single use. Now it's important to understand that if I ran this program without administrator access, all of these options would be greyed out. So I need to make sure that the relevant license level is selected for my single use license. And then I can check the availability folder. And here I can see all the various software products that I have installed on my machine or have had installed at some point and whether they're authorized or not. So for instance, desktop advanced, no applicable version, it's installed, but it is not authorized. And here we can see some other extensions which have expired on my machine. So now we know that my machine does not have desktop ArcGIS, ArcGIS for Desktop Advanced Single Use authorized to it. So now we can go ahead and use the provisioning file. So this provisioning file is quite handy in that if I double click it, it will go to the relevant window within ArcGIS Administrator to continue the authorization process. So in this case, the license code for this is just a temporary 10 day license that I've generated for the purpose of this video. So if I double click on the PRVC file, so you can see here .prvc, it will ask for administrator access to ArcGIS Administrator, click yes, and it opens in the relevant pane for the software authorization wizard. So. I have received an authorization file from Esri and I'm now ready to finish the authorization process. And here is the location of that particular file. Select next. Authorize with Esri now using the internet. So make sure you have a stable and consistent internet connection for this process. Click next. And here will be the various information automatically filled within the provisioning file. Click next. Now we can fill out some options within the authorization information. Next. And here we have the license file that's automatically populated from the provisioning file. So this is the advantage of a provisioning file in that we don't need to look up these license codes within MyESRE because we may not have access to MyESRE. So here's the 10 day temporary code that I generated for this provisioning file. Next, here's the extensions that were part of that provisioning file. Make sure that you have selected I have authorization numbers to authorize one or more extensions. Select next. Here I can take out and evaluate some software extensions. So just by selecting them, clicking the arrow across, and then I'll be, I'll be able to evaluate those. Next and we prepare the authorization. And this now gets sent via the internet to MyESRE to make sure that you have those license codes available to authorize. Congratulations, your software has been authorized and is now ready for use. Click finish. And we can now run ArcGIS for desktop or ArcMap. So how could we check that? Well, there's a couple of ways. One, we could run ArcMap and see if an error pops up saying that we do not have a license for, to run this product, or we could go back to ArcGIS Administrator and we could check our desktop availability folder. And now we can see ArcGIS for Desktop Advanced is installed, 
it's authorized and it expires on the 18th of December 2015. Thank you for watching and have a good day.